maybe Wegner is one of the most productive designers ever. So his daughter Marianne, who is an architect, has scanned over 3,000 drawings, 1,000 came as prototypes, and 500 products came in production. So because he had such a, a big collection, he had to have many manufacturers. And in the old days, the makers of the small chairs were Johannes Hansen. Karl Hansen had a, a small range. He made four pieces uh, for them. And then a company called Rue and Johannes Hansen were doing cabinets and bookcases. Andreas Tuck, AT, and Johannes Hansen, JH, were doing tables. Upholstered lounge chairs were AP Stone, AP, and furniture with loose cushions were Gitama. And you can see it's only Karl Hansen and Gitama that are still existing. Everyone else have gone bankrupt or closed down. So who was uh, Wagner? He was born in 1914 and he had a long life because he passed away in 2007. So a lot of my colleagues here still remember Wagner and have been working with him. But this is uh, Wagner uh, when he was 14 years old. He was the son of uh, a shoemaker. And this is uh, where he did his uh, apprenticeship as a craftsman. So that's his master of craftsman. And this is Wagner. And he had a very good understanding of wood from an early age. And he did a lot of carving in the wood. So you can see he had a very good understanding of proportions. So Wagner ended up being searching all his life to do just one good chair. And you have to understand that when all these companies went bankrupt, we were asked if we wanted the full collection, but we said no, we handpicked. We took all the ones that are difficult from a craftsman point of view and let go of all the ones that were more industrial. So now they have been passed on to other manufacturers. We only took the difficult pieces so these are some of the models. This we got from Fritz Hansen, but all of these, the, the chair, the cow horn, the valet chair, the office and the bull chair, we got from Johannes Hansen. We also got the uh, minimal chair 701. But in 1969, Wegner started to create uh, furniture for PP Möbler. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the first PP model. And then later came the fairy chair, or captain's chair, and the final dining chair in 87. And also he made a conference chair. But this is regarded the last dining chair of uh, Wagner design. But in order to understand uh, Wagner, you need to understand how he worked. Because in the 40s, he was looking very much at existing design. So this China chair was bought to Denmark by Kor Klint, who is regarded master of, or godfather of modern Danish design. He was a professor at Academy and he, he brought it for the students to study. You have to understand Wegner was not going to the school of uh, Klint, but he uh, did study the pieces he brought into Denmark. And you can see his studies. And these are some of the China chairs that he ended up doing a lot of Orions. This, these are the pieces we have in our collection with paper cord or with a upholstered seat. So you have to understand this section up here is very difficult to produce because I'm gonna take this little model by TT from Japan. This piece here, if this is not precise, this is going to to rock and or be loose and then it's not very exclusive. So this is a very difficult to make the rail into a very, very thin arm. Yeah, this is not an industrial model. So in 1949, Wegner was asked to go down to Karl Hansen and Son to make some more industrial suitable furniture after Second World War. And Wegner did 
the wishbone chair, the CH-24. Because he was so talented, he knew he had to have a piece here supporting this thin rail, otherwise it would break. But he split it up, only having a small section here and here, making it easier to produce. And this just tells you how brilliant he was as a craftsman and as a designer, because he managed to make something vital for the product, easier for the manufacturer to produce. So it was very intelligent and it become iconic because of this, both the, the V, but also the Y over here on the side. From a very early time, Wegner began studying the spinal cord. Not many people were talking about the spinal cord because we did not have many problems in the 50s because we were not working on computers. But Wegner was very interested in the spinal cord and here he sits with doctor of medicine studying the spinal cord. So this is in Danish, but this is actually your spinal cord is in balance when you stand. Mm. But if you sit wrong, if you have something here preventing you from arching, this is a wrong position. This is a proper position for, for when you sit, if you're able to arch and you can have some support up here. So where you can see he was studying the Chinese chair, he moved on to next level 